Hey guys, Dr. Beto here, physical therapist. Today we're going to be talking about the cubital tunnel. I know I did a video on the carpal tunnel, but the cubital tunnel is also an important one to take note of. Now, I know we did the carpal tunnel stretch, we're coming this direction. So the cubital tunnel, what we want to do, if, if you guys have this issue, and you guys are know if you have this issue, is that we're going to switch it around and do it the opposite direction. So you're going to, you're going to stretch in this direction. Now, the cubital tunnel is uh, more commonly referred to as an ulnar nerve problem. Now the ulnar nerve, just like the median nerve, can become tight, um, become irritated, and it is a living tissue, so it can become, I call it being pissed off, right? When that tissue gets pissed off, it's going to irritate you and it's going to cause pain. Now just like the median nerve video, I told you guys how you guys can stretch that nerve slowly over time. You guys want to be careful because nerve pain is very different than muscular pain, skin pain, bone pain, um, and you guys can irritate that tissue. So I want you guys to take it slow. So I'm going to give you guys a progression if you guys do have dural tightness in your ulnar nerve, how you guys can stretch, this, stretch at home on your own. But I want you guys, again, to be careful. And if there's ever any, any contraindications or you guys ever ever concerned or have questions, make sure you consult with your primary care physician before you do any of these exercises. Because I want to make sure you guys are safe and you guys are following their protocol. Because trust me guys, they're rock stars. They, uh, they spend a lot of schooling, a lot of time. And uh, I want you guys to take their knowledge seriously. So for the ulnar nerve, what you guys can do is you guys can start by bringing your arm out. I want you guys to act like, I don't smoke personally, but I want you guys to act like you're holding something in your hands. You guys are going to bring it back towards you with your wrist extending back towards your ear. Now, if you guys start to have a twinge coming up your arm or going down, right there I want you guys to start flossing back and forth. And, and that's, that's right where you guys want to be. That's where you guys should be to stretch that nerve. But you guys can come all the way in. And if you guys still don't have any pain right here, come all the way against your head and then stretch up. And if you guys are having an issue with dural tightness in your ulnar nerve, this is going to put it on stretch. You guys are going to stretch it, and I want you guys to floss back and forth right here. And if you guys don't know what I'm referring to when I say flossing, go back and forth a little bit. Just like you're flossing your teeth, you guys are oscillating back and forth to stretch that nerve nicely and safely to be able to have less nerve pain. There you go, guys. Have a good day.